Hey, what's up everyone? This is Alan, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor of Simply Vegas. Today we'll be checking out a quick moving home in the community of Elkhorn Grove by Tor Brothers in Las Vegas, Nevada. The community of Elkhorn Grove is located in the north portion of the Las Vegas Valley. The major crossroads are North Jones Boulevard and West Elkhorn Road. Elkhorn Grove is a gated community that will feature a total of 199 home sites. Of these 199 home sites, they'll be split into two different collections. The Regalia collection will feature 104 home sites of one-story homes, and the Sentinel collection will feature 95 home sites of two-story homes. There will be a community pool, and the HOA is $77 per month with no SIDS or LIDS. The home site premiums range between $5,000 up to $95,000, and the build times can vary from 10 to 12 months. The lot sizes range between 6,764 square feet up to 19,695 square feet. The average lot size for the Sentinel collection, which are the two-story homes, is 7,200 square feet, and the average lot size for the Regali collection, which are the one-story homes, are 8,200 square feet. Both the Regalia and Sentinel collection will have three different floor plans. For the Regalia collection, these homes range between 2,691 square feet up to 3,100 square feet and between three to four bedrooms. For the Sentinel collection, these homes range between 3,556 square feet up to 3,971 square feet and between four to five bedrooms. Before we get started, please consider taking a moment to hit that like button, subscribe button, and bell notification button. Thank you so much. The quick moving home that we are featuring today is the Allegro 4 plan. This home will have the Spanish Contemporary Elevation and will be priced at $897,995. This home is a single story home that will feature 2,691 square feet of living space, 3 bedrooms, 2.5 bathrooms, and a 3 car garage. This particular home will also sit on a cul-de-sac. This home will also have a very long paved driveway. There's a three-car garage that is split between a one-bay and a two-bay garage. On the garage side of the home is your hose bib, your gas meter, as well as your electrical panel. There's also a TAIC system here for pest control. They also opted to install an exterior outlet. This will be most likely used for holiday lights. And once again, this is the Spanish Contemporary Elevation. With this elevation, you have a stacked limestone at the front of this home. Here's a covered porch area. This home will feature 10 foot ceilings throughout. There's also a pre wire in this hallway for a chandelier. The flooring that they use for most of the wet areas in this home is a 12 by 24 tile floors in a straight stack pattern. This home will have a medium knockdown drywall texture, square drywall corners. 5.5 inch baseboards and a pure white paint color by Sharon Williams. Next to the foyer is the flex room. The flex room measures 13.5 by 12 and will have 4 LED lights. It also has a pre wire for a ceiling fan. On the opposite end of the foyer are bedrooms 2 and 3 and bathroom 2. On this wall is an Eco B thermostat for one of the zones in this home, and up above is a jump duct for the bedrooms. 
This hall will come with 8 foot interior doors throughout. The door handles are door levers and a chrome finish. This is bedroom 3, which measures 13 by 11. Bedroom 3 has a reaching closet. Between bedrooms 2 and 3 is bathroom 2. Bathroom 2 will have dual on-demand sinks, widespread faucets in a chrome finish, and white quartz countertops. The cabin hardware are poles in a satin nickel. This home will also have dovetail drawers and soft clothes hinges. There's a window in this bathroom. Bathroom 2 will feature a tub shower with a full height tile surround. This tub shower will also have a soap niche. Behind this door is your linen closet. Next, we have bedroom 2. Bedroom 2 will measure 12 by 11 and will overlook the front of your home or the cul-de-sac. Bedroom 2 will also have a pre-wire for a ceiling fan or a light. And here we have a reaching closet. Further down the hall to the right hand side, we have a coat closet. In this coat closet, we also have your smart panel. Around the corner is the potter room. In the potter room, we have a pedestal sink with a widespread faucet and a chrome finish and an oval vanity mirror up above. The next space is the great room. The great room measures 21 by 21. In the great room, they have opted for 6 LED lights and a pre-wire for a ceiling fan or light. On this wall in the great room is a video distribution pre-wire black box. And down below, they have opted for a 48 inch Primo fireplace. This will be a gas fireplace that will produce heat. You can also change the colors on these lights from pink to blue to dark blue, baby blue, purple, and many other colors. In the great room, they have also upgraded to a 12 by 8 multi-slide stack door. In this corner of the great room is your second thermostat for this home. There are a total of three zones in this home. Against this wall is your drop zone, which are base cabinets and a countertop. Up above are your AC filters. And here we have your laundry room. On the ceiling in the laundry room is access to your attic as well as a whisper quiet fan. For this home, they've also opted for a laundry sink, which is a top mount laundry sink. 
Across from the laundry room is your door to your garage. The two bay garage measures 22 by 20, while the one bay garage measures 18 by 11. On this wall is a water softener loop as well as a Renai tankless water heater. I prefer when they connect these garages. It gives you this additional space here. The Wenbury garage has your main water shut off, your fire sprinkler panel, and three windows that overlook the cul sac. If you enjoyed the video so far, please hit that like button and give me a thumbs up. You don't really have to do the thumbs up part, by the way, but definitely hit that like button. The next space here is the kitchen, which measures 18 and a half by 15. In the kitchen, there are six LED lights and three pre-wires for pendant lights. The kitchen island that you see here is the alternate kitchen island, which is larger. The kitchen countertops are a Brescato Como Quartz countertops by Arizona Tile. Below the kitchen island facing toward the grid room are additional cabinets. These two on the right hand side are missing the door levers. Let's try these two. The appliances that come with this home are stainless steel Gen Air appliances. This includes a 30 inch double oven, a drawer microwave, a pro style dishwasher, a 36 inch range top, and a 36 inch chimney hood. There's a large enough space here to fit a 60 inch refrigerator. Cabinets for this home are 42 inch upper cabinets, and these are flat panel cabinets. In this kitchen, they have opted for a full height backsplash. And as I mentioned earlier, these are dovetail drawers and soft close hinges. On the base cabinets is a drawer microwave. With a simple push of a button, this microwave opens up. And another push of a button will close this microwave. The door in this kitchen leads to your walk-in pantry. On the kitchen island is your trash can and recycle bin pullout. On the kitchen perimeter is a 36 inch Gen Air cooktop. This will have a 6 gas burner. And I do like the gold plating for the knobs. Above the cooktop is a 36 inch canopy Gen Air hood. Here with a 24 inch Gen Air dishwasher.
On the kitchen island is a Kohler Crew pull-down kitchen faucet in the chrome finish. You'll also have an undermount double basin sink. On the right hand side is your dishwasher air gap, on the left is your air switch. Next to the kitchen is the dining room. The dining room measures 15 by 12 and a half. Above the dining room are two LED lights and a pre-wire for a chandelier. The sliding glass door here was a structural option, but they decided to put this in. Past the great room is the primary bedroom suite. The primary bedroom suite will measure 16 by 14 and a half, and there's a jump duct that connects it from the hallway. This home will have two walk-in closets. This is a smaller walk-in closet that measures 9.5 by 8. It also has a window that overlooks the backyard. And then we have a larger walk-in closet here. This one measures 16 by 9. Luckily for me, if we bought this home, my wife will be using both of these walk-in closets. And if you're wondering what I would use, probably the coat closet. The primary bedroom will have its own thermostat, which is the third zone for this home. Also on this wall is a raised outlet and a Cat6 and cable outlet. In the primary bedroom, there's a pre-wire for a ceiling fan or light, and they opted to install four LED lights. There is no door to the primary bathroom. In the primary bathroom, we have split vanities, and situated between these vanities is a Kohler Sunstruck freestanding tub. This tub has a handheld shower. The vanities in this primary bathroom have the same exact features as the other bathrooms. The color widespread faucet and the chrome finish, the quartz countertop and the undermount rectangular sink. In the far corner is the water closet. In the primary bathroom, they have installed the alternate primary shower. This is also a zero threshold shower, so you do not need to step into the dry off area. You have this beautiful glass that is a 3 8 inch tempered glass. It goes from the floor to the ceiling. For this shower, they have installed a 12x24 Satyara polished tile by Arizona Tile. This tile gives you a marble-like look. There's also a soap niche here. The only thing that they're missing in this shower is a rain shower head. Let's open up this 12 foot 3 panel sliding door. This is the covered patio. The covered patio will measure 18.5 by 10 and there are pavers below. Up above is a pre-wire for a ceiling fan and two LED lights. And now for the backyard which comes unfinished. 
And this is what I mean when I say a backyard comes unfinished. You just get dirt back here. In your backyard, there's a hose bib and that opted for a barbecue gas tub. On this side of your home are your two AC units. These two AC units control the three zones in your home. On this wall is a pre-wire for a floodlight. This concludes my home tour of a quick moving home in the community of Elkhorn Grove by Tor Brothers in Las Vegas, Nevada. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions or like my real estate assistance when buying or selling a home in Las Vegas or Henderson, please give me a call, text, or email. Thank you so much guys for watching the very end, and I'll see you in the next video.